What's going on, everybody? We're back on another episode of Tell Me. Cashed in again yesterday on our play of the day. We're 4-0 in the last four days since the show has started. We had cashed in on our play of the day every day. Yesterday was the Philadelphia 76ers covering by 10 and a half, and they got it done. As expected, Joel and B came back, and they got it done at home. Um, we also covered the Pelicans, put a beating on the Nets at home. Grizzlies won. Um, I did say yesterday that uh, I didn't have the cojones to lay the 11 and a half with the Memphis Grizzlies, but they would cover on the money line, and sure enough, they did. The Thunder Dogs yesterday, they gave them points at home. I don't know why. They won outright, so hopefully you guys took me on the Thunder last night. SGA and them boys are rolling through the league right now, beating everybody they put in front of them. And uh, the Kings didn't pull through, but I did say yesterday in the video that I probably wasn't going to put that on my main ticket. And the Magic, um, I put them in the video, but if you guys paid attention, I did say that any updates that I'd be making before the game, I'd be putting it on Twitter, well, X, and I did update saying that I will not be touching the Magic game. I did update it before the game. I even shared, a, I even posted a comment on Instagram saying that I will not be touching the Magic game. So in all in all, we actually did do really, really well yesterday. So hopefully you guys tell me and you didn't fail me. Um, with that being said, let's get right into today's slate. Nice slate today. We got 12 games tonight, and um, it's quite a few games. First game up, we got the Wizards playing in Cleveland against the Cavaliers. Cleveland laying nine and a half at home. Um, let's just take a look real quick. Uh, Cleveland at home, they are seven and nine against the spread, seven, nine, and one against the spread. They're 15, 16, and two against the spread for the season. So they're just under 50-50, playing against uh, Washington, who just isn't good at all. And Washington, um, they are 16-16 and 16 against the spread. They're a 50-50 team. So it's a 50-50 game. Um, Cleveland, for sure, on the money, money line. Um, I don't really feel comfortable laying the points. I mean, I, I guess Cleveland could cover for sure if you are thinking about taking the points. I would take Cleveland in the nine and a half, but um, for sure, Cleveland money line tonight. Next game up, we got the Bucks and the Pacers, another one. They just played two nights ago, and the Pacers beat them boys straight up. They were underdogs, and we did take them that game for seven and a half, and they ended up winning straight up. This will be the fifth time this season that they're playing, and uh, the Pacers have beat them four times already this season. Um uh, three times, I'm sorry. They beat them three times out of the four times they played. The Bucks had beat them once. This will be their fifth time playing. And, um, you know, I'm not really sold on the Bucks yet, especially not on the road. Uh, Halle Burton and them boys beat them three times this season already. And uh, let's just see the Bucks. Milwaukee away. They're 8-6 and six against the spread, 7-12 and 12 at home. So they do play better at um, Away. Where was their last game at? Let's just check real quick. Their last game, I forgot if they played in Milwaukee or in um or if they played in uh Indiana. They played in Milwaukee. And now they're going to Indiana. Now I really I don't like to go against the Pacers. But I'm not. I'm not gonna do it. I know the Bucks play better on the road against the spread. Spread is only three and a half. Um, you could probably go with the Bucks money line or the Pacers plus three and a half. If you're going to give me the Pacers plus three and a half, I'll just take the points. Um, so, yeah, that's I'm going to run with that game tonight. Coin toss game, again, probably not going to make it into my final play because every time they play, it is, a, it is a tough game. It is back and forth all the time. So it probably won't be in my main play, but if you do feel like you want to add it in there, go ahead and go for it. I'm going to go with the Pacers again. Uh, plus a three and a half. Next game up, we got the Thunder Dogs, um, who are not Thunder Dogs today, uh, playing against Atlanta in Atlanta. And last night, I hope you all tailed me on the on the Thunder because they they beat the Boston Celtics at home. Now they're playing on a back to back. They're playing on the road tonight in Atlanta. The spread is only one and a half, but I don't care. We already know Atlanta can't cover to to, to save their life. Atlanta, let's just see real quick. Atlanta, the worst ATS team in the league. They've only covered seven spreads this entire season. They're 1-12 ATS at home. 
six and thirteen on the road. They're at home tomorrow, and the Thunder are just rolling, man. They ran through Minnesota, they ran through Denver, they ran through Boston. I mean, they're just beating everybody you put in front of them. They ran through New York, everybody you put in front of them, they're beating them. You can make an argument that the Thunder might be the best team in the league right now, and I'm not gonna fade them. I'm gonna keep rolling the hot hand. So give me the Thunder minus one and a half or Thunder money line. Either way you look at it, Thunder come out tonight with the win, and uh, yeah, that's short and easy for me. Next game up, we got the Nets taking on the Rockets, or the Rockets taking on the Nets in Houston. And we already know Brooklyn, not the team to bet on on the road. We saw what happened last night when they saw New Orleans. New Orleans blew them out the gym. And uh, I kind of expect the same tomorrow. Maybe not as bad. Uh, New Orleans, I think, might be a little better than the Rockets. But the Rockets have been balling, and we know the Rockets are super good at home. Um, the Rockets, real quick, let's just take a look. Houston is 12-5 and five ATS at home. They're 18-11-2 ATS for the season. Uh, the Nets, we already know, on the road. Can't trust them guys on the road. They lost. The, they've been on the road for a few games now, the last couple of games. So I think – yeah, on the road, they're 7-9 and nine against the spread. At home, they're 11-5. and five. Different story, different team when they're on the road. So uh, you can give me the Rockets tonight on the money line. If you want to take the points, you can go ahead and take Rockets minus 6.5. But for sure, Rockets on the money line tonight. Next game up, we got the Raptors playing the Memphis Grizzlies in Memphis. And, um, you know, I'm going to have to – John Morant and them last night, they played against San Antonio, and uh, they got it done. Tonight they're playing the Raptors, and we know the Raptors on the road just ain't no good. Raptors on the road, they're six, eight, and one against the spread. And uh, I know they got RJ Barrett now. They won their first game the other night at home, but that was at home. And uh, I forgot how they played, but, um, but yeah, oh, they played Cleveland two nights ago, and they barely beat Cleveland. They just covered. They beat them by three. Um, the spread tonight is one and a half. I think Memphis, John Moran, I know they're on a back-to-back, -back, but they're staying at home. They didn't have to travel anywhere, and Memphis crowd goes crazy. So I'm going to go with uh, the Memphis Grizzlies tonight on the money line. John Moran and get it done. Next game up, we got the Pelicans versus the Timberwolves in Minnesota. And uh, I'm going to rock with the Timberwolves tonight just because they're rested. They play their best basketball at home. Pelicans just played last night. The Pelicans have been playing really good. They're on a roll right now. But they played last night. Now they got to travel, go see Minnesota, who has been well-rested. Minnesota la lost their last game, and they're looking to bounce back tonight. So I'm going to go with Minnesota tonight at home. They're 8-6 and six against the spread at home, 15-16 uh, and 16 for the season uh, against the spread. So I think they look, they're just under 50-50 50, 50 for the season against the spread. So I think tonight they look to even that out, and they uh, they win tonight at home. And because uh, the Pelicans on the road, let's just take a look. New Orleans on the road. New Orleans, they are um, – where are they? Hello. Where you at? There you go. There you go. What you heard? Okay, New Orleans. They are 7-7 seven and seven against the spread on the road. 11-7 and one at home. 11 and seven at home. 18-14. For the season, um, they're a 50-50 team on the road. I'm going to say that they don't cover tonight. Um, maybe they keep it close, but the Timberwolves are looking to bounce back, like I say. So give me the Timberwolves on the money line tonight for sure at home beating the Pelicans. Next game up, we got the Bulls playing against the Knicks. And, um, yeah, uh, this is short and easy for me. Um, might be my play of the day. Um, I'm going to rock with the Knicks at home versus the Bulls, man. Uh, Knicks, I really like what I saw from them the other night with the addition of OG Ananobi. Um, OG Juan, uh, he played really good. He had a really good night. Um, Knicks are rolling right now with him. They're at home where they play really good. And the Bulls just played last night in Philly. Now they got to travel to New York on a back-to-back -back on the road. Um, Bulls just got their doors blown off last night, and uh, I believe the Knicks beat them tonight. Um, you can take them on the money line. You can take them minus eight and a half. 
however you want. I believe the Knicks win comfortably tonight. Uh, I believe Cody White, Kobe White is um, is game time decision. He doesn't play. Absolutely. Um, the Knicks will cover for sure. Uh, no Vucevic. You know, Levine hasn't been playing with them. Um, and now Patrick Williams and Kobe White are both game time decision. So, I mean... I think this this game is in the bag. Uh, this will probably be my play of the day. The Knicks minus eight and a half, or the Knicks money line for sure. If you're gonna put it on a parlay, I just throw the money line with the Knicks on there. Um, short, quick, and easy. Let's go to the next game: the Blazers versus the Mavericks, playing in Dallas. Dallas laying ten and a half at home, and. Uh, I don't know, man. Last game, Dallas really disappointed me on the road. They played against Utah. I mean, like I said, Utah does play really good at home. But uh, Dallas, 10.5 just seems like a little bit too deep. But they are on a bounce-back game. So, um, Luka's playing. Kyrie just getting back in the mix of things. So, um, let's see. You got some – oh, yeah. I mean, DeAndre Ayton is still out. Anthony Simons, game-time decision. Uh, Reith, game-time decision. Moses Brown, game-time decision. So, uh, Dallas at home. Let's just take a look. Dallas at home. There's six and nine ATS. Ugh. I don't know. They're eighteen and sixteen ATS for the for the season. Twelve and seven on the road. Six and nine at home. So, do we trust them against the spread at home? Um, not really. But it is Portland, who, um, you know, it's Portland. I mean, what else do I need to say? Uh, they are 15 and 17 ATS for the season. They're 9 and 7 away. They're 9 and 7 against the spread on the road. 10.5 just seems like a lot, but it is a bounce back game. Ooh, this is tough. Let me take a look real quick. I just, I don't know. I don't feel comfortable laying 10.5 with the Mavericks. Um, I know it's Portland. If Anthony Simon sits, um, maybe I consider laying the 10 and a half, but uh, I just don't really feel comfortable. I don't really ever feel comfortable laying 10 and a half leads unless it's like, you know, someone like super dominant against someone really, really bad. But even then, can't even trust it as we saw with the Detroit Pistons and the Celtics last week. So um, in this game, I'm probably just going to go with the Mavericks money line. Uh, I think they for sure get the win tonight. Uh, not really too confident in laying the points. So you can take that for what it is. You can lay the points. You can take the Blazers with the points. Or I think the best bet in this game is the Mavericks winning straight up at home. And I don't think they're losing tonight against the Blazers. That should be an easy win for them boys on the bounce back game. Next game up, we got the Clippers playing against the Suns in Phoenix. Still no Kevin Durant. Um... I believe, yeah, nah, no Kevin Durant still. He is out. So I don't, um, Suns are getting plus two and a half. Um, Kawhi is going to play, it looks like. I don't see any injuries for, uh, for the Clippers. Um, so I don't, nah, no injuries around the Clippers. Not, you guys know I love to fade the Clippers. Um, but, you know, I can't trust the Suns either. The Suns at home, man, their record is just uh, Phoenix at home against the spread is just not good. They're 6-13 and 13 against the spread at home. Uh, I'm not going to lay. I don't even think they're going to win this game without Kevin Durant. If Kawhi and everybody plays for the Clippers, as much as I don't want to bet on the Clippers, I probably, honestly, I'm not going to touch this game at all just because I don't like betting on the Clippers. And uh, the Suns, they can't get it together right now. I know they won their last game without Kevin Durant, but, um, you know, I don't I don't trust them against the Clippers without Kevin Durant. So um, I guess you can take the Clippers' money line. But uh, I'm not going to be touching this game. I'm staying away from this game tonight. Next game up, Jazz laying eight and a half at home against the Pistons. They are going to cover. They are going to win. They play their best basketball at home. They are the best 
ATS team in the league at home. Um, they are, let's just take a quick look. Utah is 12 and 3 ATS at home, while the Pistons are the worst team in the league. We already know that, everybody. So I'm not, um, you know. Detroit is 7-10 and 10 against the spread on the road. So I guess they do cover a couple of games on the road, but they're still under 500 against the spread on the road. They've only won three basketball games this season. I'm not about to bet on Detroit going into Utah, where Utah has just beaten uh, the Dallas Mavericks, the Miami Heat at home. Uh, there's no way that they're quick and easy, the Jazz tonight. Jazz money line, Jazz points, whatever it is, it's the Jazz tonight. Next game up. Magic versus the Kings in Sacramento. Both of these teams played last night. Both of these teams we took last night on our ticket. Both of these teams fell short last night for us. We went four for six yesterday. Um, but they're both playing again tonight. Sacramento doesn't have to go nowhere. They're staying at home. They blew that game. They lost that game to Charlotte. Shouldn't have lost at all. They were playing with their food. Too many turnovers. Sabonis had too many turnovers. Just let them boys have that game. Um, so I think they come out tonight and they make a statement. Uh, Magic been playing on the road a few games now on the road. Magic just lost to um, Golden State last night. And uh, I'm going to fade the Magic tonight. I know they've been playing good, but they're going to they're gonna take another L tonight. De'Aaron Fox and them boys going to get it together tonight, and they're going to win against the Magic. I'm not trusting the Magic on the back-to-back. -back. Kings didn't have to go nowhere. They're probably beating themselves over the head tonight because they just blew that game to Charlotte. So I think for sure Kings come out tomorrow. And they uh they whoop up on the magic. Last game of the night, we got the Miami Heat playing the LA Lakers in LA. And uh you already know, man, I'm not fading my heat. Um, especially on the road. That's where we play our best basketball. No Jimmy Butler tomorrow. He's still out. Caleb Martin game time decision, Josh Richardson game time decision. Everybody else seems to be suiting up for the Miami Heat. The Lakers, LeBron James, of course, game time decision, Anthony Davis game time decision, Cam Reddish game time decision, D'Angelo Russell game time decision, Rui. Hachimura is out. So there are a few injuries looming around the LA Lakers, but most likely LeBron, Anthony Davis will suit up. It is a bit of a rivalry game, Miami versus the Lakers. LeBron used to play for the Heat, we all know, so he does like to go and play hard against Miami. Um, but ultimately, Miami does play their best basketball on the road. We are damn good. Everybody keeps sleeping on the Heat. Um, so yeah, give me the Heat plus six and a half tonight. And uh yeah, that's 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 what I'm that's what I'm rolling with today, man. These are my picks. You guys can tell me. Don't fail me. If I'm making any updates before the game starts, you guys follow me on X. I'll be making any updates on X. Also on Instagram, I'll be making some updates. I'll be posting the video on there as well. So make sure you guys tune in. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all I have for you guys today. Tell me. Don't fail me. Let's all win some of my picks. You guys can tell me.